I'm backpacker field tester Heather Baylog and I am based outside of Boulder, Colorado and I am here today to give you my opinion or my review of the Gravel Gamba 30 Day Pack which is obviously it's a 30 liter in size and it is largely meant for winter activities like ski touring, snowshoeing, maybe a little bit of ice climbing um, but I've also been able to use it in a variety of conditions. I received the pack back in July so I've essentially had it for three different seasons and I've been able, been able to use it in very hot temperatures and as you can see um, also here during winter day snowshoeing events and during ski touring um, activities. So I've really been able to put it through the ringer in a variety of conditions and kind of get a good solid feel for what the pack can take. Right off the bat I will say that this is probably one of my all-time hands down favorite day packs. I found it to be really really comfortable almost like you weren't wearing a day pack and anytime that happens you know that um, it's a sure bet. One of my favorite aspects of this pack is this um, extra cushioning that lines the shoulder straps here. You can see where it's nice and cushiony and then that same padding is on the waist straps. And for me this was huge especially in the summer um, when I do a lot of Colorado 14ers which are peaks above 14,000 feet, the sun is beating down on you and get, gets very, very hot. So I frequently hike in tank tops, but because of this, I often experience friction and chafing right up here on my shoulders and my clavicle area, and I know a lot of other females have this problem as well. But with this pack, that never happened. I didn't experience issues one time. Um, I think the cushioning helped it sit better on your clavicle area and because of this it became literally my go-to pack for all-day activities. It was so incredibly comfortable. Another feature that I really liked about the pack is if you take it off and you look at the back right here, this is all mesh and this is called their air tech frame which again sounds kind of like a little tech term but basically what it meant was that even when you're hiking at 100 degrees in the summer or on days like today where it's maybe 20 degrees but you're working up a good sweat, the pack is still breathable. Um, I had a concern that with all this extra cushioning that it would get hot and almost musty against your body, but because of the air tech frame along the back and again in these waist belt straps right here, I never had those issues. I never felt like it was sticking to my back or sticking to my hips and I always felt like air was able to pass through and keep um, both my back and the pack at a nice comfortable temperature. If I had to find one flaw with the Gamba 30, it would probably be the type of pocket to access the main compartment in the back. Um, if you can see here, it's kind of like a half moon, half panel pocket. and It zips around the top, but the zipper stops right here and doesn't give you access to any of this bottom of the pack. And it wasn't that big of an issue, but I did find myself kind of burrowing in and trying to dig deep into the pack to find gloves or other smaller items that had gotten pushed into the corners. And because I couldn't unzip the pack down the side, it was kind of darker and hard to find. So again, this wasn't, this wasn't like a deal breaker with this pack, but it would be the one minor flaw that I noticed during all my testing. Um, but other than that, again, this is my probably one of my all-time favorite day packs. It's become my go-to in all-day adventures, and for it retails $165, and I think for that price, it would be an excellent choice for any of your day activities.